Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Pelogazi M and on today's video I'm going to be creating this braids and afro puffs or afro balls hairstyle. If you like this look and you'd like to see how it's created, please keep watching. I had always wanted to create this look ever since I saw it on Pinterest but I didn't know how exactly to go about it until this fun girl from TikTok gave me an idea. So please make sure that you are subscribed before leaving this video if it is your first time here now let's get started with the tutorial so i started off by putting my hair into the different sections that i will be using for my braids And once I had my first section, I'm just going to brush in the short hairs that are at the back and then I'm going to divide the hair in this section into three and then I'm going to start creating a braid but I'm not going to braid all the way down, I'm only going to braid halfway through the hair. And once I'm done with the first section, I'm going to do the same thing onto the second section. This is what the first two sections look like and I'm going to do this throughout my entire head and this is what all of my sections look like throughout my head. I'll be using a Darling 1 million braids in the color 1 for my braids and I had already prepped the hair. So I'm taking the braiding hair and I'm going to place it under my natural braid and then I'm going to loop the braiding hair on top of my natural braid and then I'm going to create a braid with all three pieces. And then I'm going to take a piece of the braiding hair from both sides of the braiding hair and I'm going to add these pieces onto my own natural hair and then I will end up with three pieces again and then I will continue creating the braid. Now when braiding, please remember to cover your own natural hair with the braiding hair. This is where the protective part comes in and it also helps the natural hair blend in with the braiding hair. Although it can't blend in perfectly, especially if your hair is not the same color as the braiding hair, but it just helps to cover up your own natural hair with the braiding hair. And once I'm at the end of this braid, I'm going to secure it using a rubber band. I am now creating a second braid and I'm going to follow the same steps that I followed when I was creating the first braid. So I first looped the hair and take pieces from the braiding hair, add those pieces onto my own natural hair section and then I continue with the braid and as I am braiding I make sure that I cover my natural hair with the braiding hair. You can also just crochet on the braiding hair to create the braids because we did braid the natural hair halfway. And once I've braided to the desired length, I'm going to secure this braid with an elastic rubber band. So I'm just going to continue braiding while you guys watch. Comment shout out for today's video goes out to Koketo. She commented love this channel onto my DIY hair clip ins video. Thank you so much Koketo. I really appreciate that. If you want to get a comment shout out, please just comment on any of my videos as many times as you want to and this could be you. I am now done with the braids and I'm going to be using Afro Classic hair to create the Afro puffs or Afro balls, whatever you want to call it. The afro hair is also in the color 1 matching the braiding hair and it comes in loops like this because it is meant for crocheting and I am going to divide one of these loops into four different sections. Now here is my first section of the four and I'm going to insert it into the braid using a crochet needle so I'm just going to hook it on like that, pull it through the braid and this is just above the rubber band that I used to secure the braid and after creating that loop I'm going going to pull through the afro hair and also the excess hair of the braid into the loop. Mm -hmm. 
once i've pulled them both through i just pull the afro hair to make sure that it's secured and then i cut off the excess braiding hair Now to create the afro puff, I'm going to use the afro hair and I'm going to do a knot at the end of the braid. The knot needs to be loose in order for you to have that full puff effect and appearance. And after doing the first knot, I make sure that it's not tight. As I've said, it needs to be loose. And I'm going to do a second knot on top of the first one to make the shape of the puff even bigger. And once I am done with the second knot and I feel that the two knots are well secured onto the braid, I'm just going to use the excess hair to wrap around onto the puff and also to secure the puff onto the braid. Once my puff is secured onto the braid, I just continue to mold it into a shape that I want into that rounded shape. Now here I am and I'm happy with the shape. So on the second one, I cut it off the excess braiding hair because you don't necessarily have to crochet on the afro hair prior to cutting off the braiding hair. So I've already cut it off and now I'm going to attach on the afro hair. Once my afro hair is attached, I'm going to secure it um, using that loop to pull it through and once it is secured onto the braid i am then going to create the afro puff again we are going to do a first knot at the end of the braid of the puff hair and not make it too tight and then do a second knot on top of the first one The second knot must also not be tight and it must somewhat be on top of the first one. And then with the excess hair, I just wrap it around the puff and also secure the puff onto the braid. At this point, I was starting to get just a, just a little bit excited. Just... Mm. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue with my afro puffs and let's see how it goes. Okay, at this point, my puffs were really improving in shape because all the ones I'm doing on this side that I'm doing last are just coming out so perfectly. I mean, child, come on now. And this is the puffs and they are all done. So I'm just going to lay my edges using the molding gel wax. It is in the description box, guys. Everything that I'm using is always listed in the description box. Please click it. Click that arrow thingy on the side that is facing up. It will drop down and show you the description my description starts off with open me so when you see that thing that says open me you know you're on the description and you can just scroll down to see everything that i've used on this video and to also find links to my social media platforms okay now i've laid my edges on this side and i'm going to do the same thing onto the other side and once that is done i am just going to put on this silk headscarf and i'm going to go to bed and we're going to see this look on the next day mm -hmm. 
it is now the next day and it's time for the reveal okay child mm-hmm. gorgeous okay i absolutely love the outcome of this hairstyle i achieved this at home all by myself come on now let's guess how much this should cost at a salon in the comment section and also please remember to like and subscribe if you're not already i will see you on the next video